President Obama is making a personal appeal to Middle East allies to step up the fight against ISIS. The president met this morning with Gulf Arab leaders at a security summit hosted by Saudi Arabia. Margaret Brennan is in Riyadh with why the president is facing skepticism. Margaret, good morning. Good morning. Well, Saudi leaders say they're confused by President Obama's Mideast policy, urging them to share the neighborhood with Iran, their longtime enemy and a country that both consider to be a state sponsor of terrorism. Smiles for the cameras disguised in otherwise tense summit with Gulf leaders. Today's meetings focused on how to counter an explosion of Mideast violence that they believe is being fueled by longtime foe Iran. It's always a pleasure to see you. The U.S. brokered nuclear deal has also made rulers here deeply suspicious of President Obama's intentions. Saudi leaders in particular feel he has jeopardized their status as America's key ally in the Middle East. Deputy National Security Advisor Ben Rhodes. We certainly understand. This is their neighborhood. They're worried about uh, Iran and uh, what its agenda is and the actions that they've taken. Um, our point is simply that uh, that concern with Iran should not foreclose um, the potential for diplomatic engagement if there's an ability to resolve um, problems. President Obama's arrival on Wednesday was not met with the usual pomp and ceremony given to visiting leaders. It also wasn't broadcast on state TV, but U.S. officials denied that was a snub. And in a two-hour-long meeting yesterday, President Obama tried to clear the air with King Salman. But frustrated Saudi leaders are already looking towards the next U.S. president, whether it's Hillary Clinton or even Donald Trump. Now, despite all of this frustration, both Saudi and American officials tell me that they need each other and they are determined, Charlie, to maintain this strategic military alliance. Thanks, Margaret. Margaret Brennan in Saudi Arabia.